Welcome to our YouTube channel dedicated to exploring the latest insights and opportunities in the world of finance and investments with a special focus on currency revaluation, gold and silver investments, cryptocurrency and make money online opportunities and more. If you're interested in staying up to date on the latest developments in currency revaluation, particularly the Iraq dinar and other currencies, best to subscribe to this channel. Please note that the content on this YouTube channel is for informational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. We are not licensed financial advisors and the opinions expressed on this channel are based on our own research and personal experience. We strongly recommend that you do your own research and consult with a licensed financial advisor. Also, just before we go any further, this channel has a weekly giveaway of 100 Dogecoin. However, this week's giveaway is 200 Dogecoin, as we did announce any winner last Sunday. To enter, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, like this video, and watch this video till the end, as we will be sharing a random hashtag keyword daily and then comment hashtag the keyword with no spaces in between in the comment section. Good luck. Now let's continue with another bombshell news of Iraq dinar today, so stick till the end of this video. In this breaking news article, economic expert Abd al-Rahman al-Mashidani outlines the requirements for printing a new Iraqi currency. He emphasizes that printing currency is not inherently negative but should be done in a balanced manner to support economic growth and keep up with population expansion. This article is essential for Iraq's economic and monetary reform as it sheds light on the country's intention to add value to the dinar as part of its monetary reform efforts. First, let's read the article and please advise that the Google translation to English is sometimes confusing so make sure to watch until the end so we can expand on the article. The title of this article is Not Always a Bad Option. When Should the Central Bank Print More Currency? Economic expert Abd al Rahman al Mashidani outlined the requirements that the central bank had to print a new currency, as he indicated that printing the currency is not always a bad option, but rather it must be in a balanced manner. Al Mashidani said in a press interview seen by Takadam, that quote, the central bank denied the existence of an intention to print an Iraqi currency recently, but it is required to print a currency according to expectations for the growth of domestic product and population growth. Noting that quote, population growth reaches 2.5% annually, meaning that the volume of printing reaches 7.5 trillion if it is known that the volume of existing cash reaches 100 trillion Iraqi dinars. He added, quote, if the print exceeds the determinants, there will be a problem, but the equation is that the state has dollars and the central bank is obliged to compensate it in dinars, and this is correct. He pointed out that, quote, most countries in the world reprint their currency approximately every 10 years with specifications and codes that complicate the process of counterfeiting. Pointing out that, quote, the category of 50,000 Iraqi dinars includes 12 secret codes, while the category of 25,000 dinars includes seven only. Stressing that, quote, the exchange of small currencies is supposed to be done every year, while the category of 5 to 10,000 is changed every five years, and so on for the rest of the other categories. Because any bank note that is torn is lost by the citizen and the central bank is obligated to compensate it. And he stressed that he quote, supports the printing of banknotes higher than 50,000 dinars and pumping them into the markets because it will reduce the volume of cash that can be carried by citizens and enhance the value of the dinar. That's it for this breaking news article. The economic expert Abd al-Rahman al-Mashidani highlights the importance of Iraq's central bank potentially printing a new currency. Al-Mashidani emphasizes the significance of printing currency in a balanced manner to support economic growth and population expansion. This development holds essential implications for Iraq's economic and monetary reform efforts. 
The article highlights the central bank's stance on currency printing, denying any immediate intentions, but acknowledging that future printing may be necessary to meet the demands of a growing economy and population. Al Mashadani points out that population growth in Iraq is around 2.5% annually, indicating a potential need for currency expansion to accommodate economic growth. The fact that most countries reprint their currency approximately every 10 years to incorporate advanced security features and prevent counterfeiting is another significant point raised in the article. Updating the currency will enhance its credibility and protect it from illegal duplication, supporting Iraq's economic stability. Additionally, the economic expert suggests that printing banknotes with higher denominations, such as those exceeding 50,000 dinars, can be beneficial. This move would reduce the volume of physical cash carried by citizens and enhance the value of the dinar. By increasing the value of the dinar, Iraq can foster more confidence in its currency, attract foreign investments, and promote economic growth. Revaluation, or reinstating the dinar, and adding value now, is crucial for Iraq's economy for several reasons. Firstly, it will counteract the effects of inflation and the declining purchasing power of the dinar. As inflation erodes the value of the currency, the government must act swiftly to preserve the standard of living for its citizens. Secondly, a strong and stable dinar will attract foreign investments and boost the country's economy, paving the way for sustainable development and prosperity. In conclusion, this breaking news article is vital for Iraq's economic and monetary reform. It indicates the possibility of printing a new currency to support economic growth and accommodate population expansion by incorporating advanced security features and printing higher denomination bank notes. Iraq aims to add value to the dinar, strengthen its economy, and enhance the confidence of both citizens and foreign investors in the national currency. Acting promptly on the monetary reform is crucial to tackle inflation and attract investments, making this news of significant importance for Iraq's economy. What do you think about this breaking news article? Before ending this video, the hashtag keyword for the 200 Dogecoin giveaway is IntelliInvest. The winner will be announced this Sunday and will be in one of the Sunday's videos. Stay tuned and good luck. Please drop a comment below. Let us know what you think. And don't forget to add hashtag and the keyword for today. Also, don't forget to please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified when new videos are uploaded. See you on the next video.